Hi, everyone. Welcome. This is Carol Parsons for Blount Small Ship Adventures, and we're going to get started on our webinar in just a couple of minutes here. Just want to do a little bit of housekeeping before we get started to remind you that audience members will remain in listen-only mode throughout the presentation. We are recording today's session, and we'll be sending you a follow-up email about an hour after we conclude today, and in it you'll find the link to that recording so you can review this at your leisure or share it with any of your colleagues who maybe weren't able to join us today. There will also be some other information in that follow-up email, so keep an eye out for that. And that means I can't hear you, but I'm, of course, happy to hear from you in the form of any questions you may have. And if you're having any technical difficulties, I'll do my best to assist. But the best way to communicate with me is going to be through the questions box on the control panel on the right-hand side of your screen there. If you see the word questions with the little triangle, click on that, and it'll open up the box that you can type into. And I'll keep an eye on that as we go along and answer questions uh, throughout the presentation, but uh, I'll also check it at the end of the session and answer as many questions as I can for us while we're all together as a group. If for some reason I don't get to your question or answer it in its entirety, rest assured we'll follow up with you via email after the event. So feel free to use that question box at any time. So I'm going to go ahead and start the recording. There'll be just a brief delay, and then we'll get our webinar officially underway. All right. Once again, welcome, everyone. This is Carol Parsons for Blount Small Ship Adventures, and I'm really thrilled to see so many people interested in small ship cruising with Blount. It's really the way to go, and more and more of your clients are looking for this type of product, a way to literally get away from it all and see the world in a unique way. And, uh, you know, as you're talking to clients and finding out what it is they're dreaming of and, and what kind of expectations they have, we really wanted to give you this extra special option that, uh, that Blount Small Ship Adventures represents because for so many clients, it's going to be just the right thing and you'll be the superstar for making that match. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I have a lot that I'd like to cover in our 101 session today. And know that uh, you can find more information on everything I'm talking about on our website, bluntadventure.com or bluntsmallshipadventures.com. Either one will take you to our website, where you can find out more about the Blount story, which is really fascinating. This is a, a family with a long history in New England, and what uh, what Luther Blount brought to the whole thing is 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 really he's our founder. He was a pioneer at heart, an engineer by trade, and all of that came together when they would go on family vacations and really what has grown from their family vacations and friends wanting to go along and then friends wanting to bring friends is America's first small ship cruise company. And we're now going on the third generation of Blount family members that are running both the company, the Blount Small Ship Adventures Company, and the Blount Shipyards that still produces these unique vessels in our home port of um, Rhode Island. So it's a great story, and, and uh, it, it, it really does inform the kinds of experiences your clients are going to have, because Luther really believed in traveling the lesser traveled waterways and getting into places that weren't, you know, changed by mass tourism. Back in the late 50s, early 60s, there was nothing on the scale of mass tourism that we have today. But even today, we follow in his path and, and look for those places that are unique that we can see from the inside out. And so you have a little map here that gives you an idea of the variety of itineraries we have from all American intercoastal waterways to New England islands and the Canadian Maritimes, the Great Lakes, of course, the canals and rivers of the eastern part of the country. And we also every year have some warm water adventures to offer to your clients. What makes us different by design, which is really, you know, how we describe ourselves, is what Luther dreamed up. Again, I said he was an engineer by trade, but he was a pioneer at heart. He saw the need for certain things that he then created and made real. And 
So two examples of that are what make our ship so unique. We have retractable pilot houses, and you can see that in this series of photographs here where, where the captain navigates from literally can drop down into the center of the vessel, which means we can go into shallow waterways because we have shallow draft vessels, but also historic waterways that have low bridges. So think about things like the Erie Canal, the Oswego Canal, and, and many others in America's waterways where, you know, other small ships can't go. Obviously, we go where the big ships cannot, but we can even go where other small ships can't get to. For example, we are the only overnight cruise company to, to transit the entire length of the Erie Canal in the season. So it's really a, a wonderful way for your clients to have unique itineraries and experiences that make them feel like explorers. The bow ramp is the other patented feature I wanted to show you because this is really fantastic, as you can imagine. We don't need a dock to go ashore. That means we can create one-of-a-kind itineraries, and it's really wonderful to see people on shore as we approach, and they think, you know, where's that ship going, and, and you know, where's the dock, and we just keep coming. You know, here we're stepping off into turquoise blue waters in Belize, but we can also use this bow ramp onto land and do dry landings that way in, in many locations. So, you know, those are things that really set us apart. When your clients travel with us aboard these unique vessels, they get to feel like a local because they're not overwhelming the destinations we visit. We have 84 guests on board, maximum number. We dock with the yachts. Your clients walk into the community and become a part of it for the time that we're visiting there. They're, they're, uh, we're also able to visit ports of call that are authentic. We, we've been doing authentic since before it was the thing to do. We also say that it's like cruising on your friend's yacht because it's casual, it's comfortable, it's, it's all about a, a, a laid back experience of unique places that you really couldn't visit any other way. And people get together and mix and mingle, nice shot of our sun deck here and people just doing their thing and enjoying life. Part of the ambiance on board and the reason that everything is so laid back and casual is because we are only 84 guests on board. We are like-minded individuals, so it's absolutely casual. We uh, have no dress code. Just come as you are. Be dressed for the adventures, and uh, you're among friends. You know, you, 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 our kinds of cruises attract inquisitive, eco-conscious senior travelers, these are going to be the more well-traveled folks in your database and in your client base. We have an average age of, say, 60 to 65 plus. They're folks that get the benefits of small ship cruising. They've probably been there and done that, and they're looking for a different way to experience places. They're looking for the camaraderie that comes with a small number of people traveling together and having sort of the same experiences and adventures. That being said, on a Blount small ship adventure, you always have time to get off and enjoy and do your own thing. We have a perfect balance, I think, of structure and free time built into all of our itineraries. Uh, I see Joseph is having trouble with his sound. Let me just type something really quickly to him, make sure he is able to join us. Okay, so you can really get off and do your own thing. On all of our itineraries, we offer optional excursions that allow you to kind of customize your experience based on how you like to explore, maybe where they've been before. But we also have uh, crew members on board to assist people in, in uh, having their own adventures. So we, we kind of mix it up. Here's our 2019 lineup, just to give you an idea of the, the breadth and variety of itineraries that we've got. We've got a couple of new ones in the mix this year, too. And so in the next few minutes, I'd like to walk you through those itineraries, show you the maps with a little summary screen to give you an idea of where they go and for how long. And, uh, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the ships and the onboard experience. But we have so much to sell, starting with what's happening right now. The first of these itineraries is out there. Folks are having a wonderful time in beautiful Belize and Roatan right now. And you do have another opportunity to sell this coming up in March. And I believe there are a few cabins left here and there. So um, well worth taking a look at this on the itinerary.
and uh, on the itinerary pages on the website, all of the information on all the departures we're going to talk about is there for you. Belize, of course, is one of those really beautiful places, the second long, longest barrier reef on the planet, those beautiful Honduran Bay Islands of Utila and Roatan that we'll visit. This one goes uh, into Belize City, and that's an easy airport and uh, good embarkation point for us, and it takes us on our journey to a place that's like nowhere else in the world. As I mentioned, it's the second largest barrier reef. And traveling with Blount Small Ship Adventures, your clients are going to have plenty of opportunities to get in that incredibly clear water. We have kayak equipment on board and a kayak master. There's no charge for the kayaks. It's kind of just first come, first serve. And uh, everybody gets a chance to take them out and take a spin. We also have snorkel equipment on our warm water destinations for each guest on board. So that's a real convenience, and it's a great value for money as well in our warm water destinations. We'll also on this itinerary be visiting, aside from those beautiful deserted islands and islets and beautiful swimming and snorkeling opportunities, some really interesting ports of call like Placencia in Belize, which is home to a Garifuna community who are known for their traditional drumming and dance. Very unique culture here, and uh, that's uh, an example of the types of ports of call we'll be visiting. Here you see we do that bow ramp bow landing here right onto the beach. So that's a lot of fun. Talk about easy access. We'll also, as I mentioned, be going out to the Bay Islands, and Utila is one of those. It's a almost full three days that we'll spend here on this long part of the Barrier Reef that's just chock full of marine wildlife and ways to explore it. So at both uh, Utila and Roatan, we have the opportunity to really take our time and relax and enjoy. Uh, when we're in Roatan, we actually have two full days plus the day we disembark here, and we have use of the facilities at the resort Fantasy Island. So in addition to all the uh, the things that, that we offer, you have the use of the facilities at that resort as well on that itinerary. So there's still another departure. And I did want to mention it to give you an opportunity to sell those last few cabins and also just, you know, tell you about our warm water experiences. Because each year we, we do something in the warm water domain and, uh, and, and it changes around and we go different places. But um, these are certainly some popular ones. And this year, Panama Canal and the islands is really exciting. As you can see, we've got three departures on this one each of which is a little bit different in terms of the day by day. They all visit the same ports of call and, and cover everything that you see there on the map, but they do it in slightly different order depending on the departure date. For example, that one in the middle, the February 15, which is around the corner, uh, actually transits the Panama Canal twice. How much fun is that? Again, we have the, the, the snorkel equipment for the clients and the kayaks available and lots of opportunities as we make our way through the Panama Canal to the Caribbean side and the beautiful San Blas Islands to get out on those white sand beaches and unexplored coral reefs. And, uh, you know, this is the way to do it. That's why I say there are more and more of your clients who would love this type of experience and they may not even know it exists. So this is your chance to point out to your clients that they will not only have all the things I talked about on board, but they have incredible access to the destinations that we visit because we make it so easy for them. One additional patented thing that Luther Blount dreamed up and then made real is something we use on these warm water destinations a lot, the glass bottom boat. And it's another example of something we include in the cruise price. Everyone gets a chance to go out on this. Whenever we get somewhere where there's some great stuff to see, our naturalist, Luz Hunter, who you see there at the stern, is going to get these things out, get people on board, and do multiple trips out to see everything there is. And that's really you know, a great way to have an experience of the underwater world. You don't even get your feet wet and you get to see it all. The Panama Canal, of course, has always been a popular cruising destination, but to me there's no better way to experience it than aboard a small ship like ours when you're going into this amazing cut of, you know, this feat of engineering, a 48-mile waterway that connects two of the world's greatest oceans 
the Pacific and the Atlantic, you know, it, it's that sense of moving from one place to another when those gates close behind us is really sensational when you're aboard a ship of our scale. And, uh, and so I think that's why it's been very popular. And uh, again, you have a few other opportunities to, uh, to sell these departures. There's a few cabins here and there. So check it out if you've got some clients that would be right for that. When we get over to the San Blas Islands, your clients can do some shopping for a mola, these beautiful embroidery pieces that the Kuna people, the, the native people of these islands, uh, make. And, uh, and it's a, a breathtaking place to visit. We also so as we come back to the Pacific side on this itinerary, we'll visit a, a, a authentic Embara village. The native people in this area around the Darien jungle uh, are, uh, are very unique, very uh, traditional lifestyles intact. And this is a really great opportunity to step back in time to another world as we visit uh, one of their meeting places. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer to home and a little bit less exotic maybe, but no less interesting and enjoyable, the low country of our own country as we make our way from Savannah to Baltimore up the Intracoastal Waterway. This one's coming up in April, and I do believe there's a cabin here or there. Wherever you see this onboard early arrival uh, box on my summary screen here, that means that we offer what it sounds like an onboard early arrival package where your client gets to use our vessel as their floating accommodation overnight. It also includes a couple of meals. And so it's a great way for you to include that first night of which, you know, often you're doing just to make sure they get where they need to be with the airlines and whatever weather, et cetera, et cetera. This is a great way to make it part of the experience, not just part of the transportation. This itinerary, as I mentioned, takes in the beautiful low country of South Carolina, the Georgia uh, Sea Islands. We're going to uh, see Savannah, Georgia, which is pretty much stuck in time in a very good way. The, the squares that make up this city are uh, still intact from when they were laid out in the 1700s, and they are breathtaking. They look just like this with these live oaks hung with the Spanish moss. And the time that we're here in April, the azaleas and camellias are all in bloom in these squares. The architecture is amazing. It's a fantastic place to be in the month of April. We also visit the small town of Beaufort, South Carolina, which is like a miniature Charleston or a miniature Savannah, the, art, the antebellum architecture, but even smaller and more quaint, if you can imagine. Beautiful city to walk around in or take a horse-drawn carriage. And that's an example of an optional excursion. If your clients want to get out and see a little more of the, of the town, we offer something like the, uh, the, the horse-drawn carriage, an additional charge that allows them to, to do that. Or they can just go for a walk or a stroll. Or our crew members are going to know the best place for ice cream in the, uh, in the town. And, and, and are there to answer questions and point people in the right direction to have the experience they're looking for. The same can be said of Charleston, South Carolina, you know, magnificent city. In all of these places, we dock in locations really convenient to getting into what you want to see and do. So it's a short walk from where we dock in Charleston into the Battery and the historic area. So you can, if you're like me, just walk around and ogle all the gorgeous architecture and, uh, and beautiful flowers and, and and uh, enjoy that, that uh, warm temperature that we generally enjoy here in the month of April. And uh, then optional excursions may include a visit into one of these beautiful homes that's, uh, that's uh, restored as a museum uh, and other horse-drawn carriage walking tours. They really vary. So um, just think of the, the optional excursions as a way for your client to you know, in, explore on, in different ways in various places. The historic Chesapeake Bay itinerary is a new one for this year. You know, as we make our way up the intercoastal waterway on that first itinerary, we're going to come into Baltimore and, uh, and, and enjoy that beautiful coastline. We're going to touch on some of those same areas here on this itinerary, but we want to dig a little bit deeper into this beautiful body of water, the Chesapeake Bay. It's breathtaking any time of year, and it's really America's largest estuary. So again, exploring it on our vessel is the way to go. The only other people that are going to be in here are on private boats, and that's the idea here. Along the way, and you see May, beautiful time to be here. We've, we've timed everything in our, in our season as we make our way through on the itineraries to be in the best places at the best time. So we're going to kick off in Baltimore here. Again, you can see where we dock. makes it really easy to get in and enjoy the inner harbor of Baltimore. 
Uh, we're going to make our way uh, toward Annapolis and uh, stop at the U.S. Naval Academy there. We'll visit Yorktown uh, and uh, Norfolk, of course. And so, you know, when you uh, are, are talking to your clients about these itineraries, take a look at our website or our print brochure, and it'll give you a little more detail. The website gives you a great deal of detail on each individual port so that you can kind of fill them in on what the experience will be like. I'm just giving you the, the high-level overview today. And then as we go through the season, we do webinars that dig into individual itineraries as they come around in terms of the time where you should be talking to your clients about them. So as we move along today throughout the season, we're moving up into June and July and August, uh, summertime, and what better place to be than eating lobster in the islands of New England during the summertime. And that's exactly what we do on this seven-night itinerary that we offer. And you can see it's a very popular one. We've got lots of departures. And uh, you can see on the map here, it's in and out of our home port of Warren, Rhode Island. And then we take in all of those beautiful little islands along the coast, like Nantucket, it, which is very kind of um, chic and and, uh, and and very, very scenic. Uh, we also visit Martha's Vineyard, their Nantucket's laid-back cousin with his gingerbread architecture in, in the Oak Bluff neighborhood. And uh, we'll visit Block Island, which is just this gorgeous eco-paradise. It's just spectacular, and especially in the summertime. And then we'll also be getting into beautiful Newport, Rhode Island. And that's another thing I like about this itinerary. Like so many of our others, we balance that natural beauty and, and you know, a total escapism with some of the more cultural and, and sort of city town experiences that your clients are certainly going to enjoy, like Newport, Rhode Island, where there's so much going on from these magnificent Gilded Age homes to the uh, the Tennis Hall of Fame and, and to the port itself. It's a maritime city. So whatever your client wants to do and explore, especially in a place here like Newport, we'll have, we'll have something for them to do. And on this itinerary, like I'll talk about the food a little bit later on, but like all of our itineraries, the food is itinerary specific, inspired by our locale. So you better believe New England seafood features very strongly on our itineraries, particularly the islands of New England where lobster is on the menu every single day. And this is the way we do lobster at Blount Small Ship Adventures. You don't have to go looking for it. It's right there on the plate. <laughs> That's the way to do it. So here we are at the Great American Waterways, and this is certainly uh, one of the uh, signature itineraries of Blount Small Ship Adventures. It, it was always one of the favorites of the Blount family, and today it's one of our best sellers. Again, you can see by the number of departures we have here how popular it is. This 16-day adventure takes us across four of the Great Lakes and the historic Erie Canal. Remember that we're the only overnight cruise line that could do that. So, hey, this is this is a signature itinerary for that reason. So we're going to make our way across from Chicago, um, see a lot of Lake Michigan along the way. We're also going to uh, make our way to Mackinac Island, which is like stepping back in time, the Grand Hotel here, America's longest back porch. And what a great way to do it, having our accommodation be uh, our vessel and then walking into a place which is, you know, no combustion engines here. The only ways to get around are horse-drawn carriage, bicycles, or your own two feet. So this is perfect for us and uh, we'll enjoy it at its best. We also transit the Erie Canal, and here's a nice shot that gives you a sense of you know, these small residential areas that we travel through. You get to see the real America, and the, the, the actual experience of going through the canals on board the ship is fantastic. People are always outside when we're doing that because it, it makes you appreciate that feat of engineering that connected the Great Lakes with the St. Lawrence Seaway. Here's a good picture that gives you a, a, a look at what it's like when you, you are in that process. It's, even if you're not into engineering, it's a very cool thing to realize how this changed the world when, like the Panama Canal, when it was built, it changed the way man and goods were transported and, and how the world communicated with itself. So it's kind of cool to be on deck when that's happening. We also travel on the Hudson River on this itinerary and others, and, and that's a beautiful waterway to enjoy, and uh, we'll have lots of opportunities to uh, enjoy the scenery there as we make our way down the Hudson River on this itinerary into New York Harbor. It's like uh, one long sightseeing trip. You know, you're, you've got a New York Harbor cruise here 
or you're you're always close to shore, always taking in the local scenery. It's a fantastic way to travel. Our next itinerary coming up, I wanted to mention in June, is the historic Massachusetts Sampler. We've got a single departure of this one this year. And remember, with 84 guests on board, you know these do sell out. So if you have clients that are looking at something in particular, you're well within you know the realm of truth to tell them go ahead and make the, the decision. You know this this may not be there if you if you wait too long. This itinerary goes round trip from Boston, great place to spend a little bit of extra time. We do offer the early onboard arrival and uh, you know Boston food town right you've got all of the all of the uh, great seafood and cuisine to enjoy we've got fantastic uh, landmarks and history to explore on the Freedom Trail uh, lots of museums here as well so it's a good place if your clients want to spend a little bit of time before or after their cruise and along the way we'll be visiting places like the Plymouth Rock how cool is that how close do we get see there's only private boats and us and they're right where the pilgrims first stepped the, the the Plymouth Rock. I love that picture. We'll also visit Plymouth Plantation as an optional excursion. So if your clients have never been to this living museum, a very, very interesting thing to do. And, you know, if they have done that, then they have other alternatives. Or, of course, they can always just relax on board the ship. There are choices. There are lots of uh, a variety in terms of things to do here. We also have uh, an opportunity on this itinerary to um, to visit Martha's Vineyard and uh, Newburyport, small little towns that have so much uh, charm to them and small American feel to them. Provincetown, Massachusetts, another great example. You can see how folks live here. And uh, it, it's uh, also a little bit of an artist community. So very, very nice itinerary for people to relax and enjoy in June. Maine and New Brunswick is an itinerary that's been very popular. It is also round trip Boston, so you talk about easy air in and out. We have two departures on this one. Uh, on board early arrival also available here, which is great. And uh, this itinerary is our two nation vacation. You know, this one really explores the scenic coast of the uh, Canadian Maritime of New Brunswick and our own beautiful coastal New England. So we'll be seeing places like Rockland, Maine, and uh, uh, St. Andrews by the Sea in New Brunswick with the Algonquin Hotel there dominating the skyline. We have uh, opportunities to go whale watching, to collect uh, light lighthouses as we sail along this beautiful, crusty coast of Maine. And again, believe it, May lobster is going to be on the menu. Lobster and other New England seafoods. Uh, it's really a, a dining uh, opportunity for your clients. They won't soon forget. Portland, Maine. Here's a shot of the Portland headlight on this itinerary as well as we cruise back to Boston via Bar Harbor. Magical Lake Michigan, shifting gears back to the Great Lakes here from the coast, uh, is a very popular itinerary and right at the right time to be there, August in the Great Lakes. I can't think of a better place to be. This one is a uh, round trip and does all of the the, the uh, places you'd expect. We, you know, we visit certainly um, Chicago itself and the, we take in the splendor of Lake Michigan, which is, by the way, the fifth largest lake in the world, sometimes affectionately called uh, America's third coastline. It has tides. It has sand dunes. It's really quite extraordinary. We'll be visiting Mackinac Island, a nice shot here that shows you how you know walkable this city is. It's a really charming small town that uh, we'll have uh, we'll feel like we have it all to ourselves. And uh, we'll also, here's a nice shot. You can see where we're docked and how easy it is to get into the visitor center right there in Mackinac Island and the horse-drawn carriages picking up right there, an optional excursion that we offer. We'll also see little little towns like Holland, Michigan, that have obviously a Dutch cultural um, aspect to them. The historic windmill here that was brought over piece by piece and rebuilt, and uh, some of the the local folks keeping the the folklore and the uh, legacy alive, doing some clog dancing for us. So um, that's a great itinerary with a nice balance of the natural beauty of places like the Door Peninsula and Sturgeon Bay and cosmopolitan Chicago and everything in between. So no doubt that's why it's been so popular for so many years. 
We've uh, included that in a new itinerary this year, Chicago to Montreal. We've mixed it up a little bit, and I love this one because we um, get to cruise through all of that wild, beautiful splendor of Sturgeon Bay you can see on the map here in Lake Michigan. And then we make our way into three more of the Great Lakes here on Erie and Ontario as we make our way over to Montreal. So again, we'll stop in Mackinac Island and have a chance to enjoy that uh, that quiet little town that uh, maybe stop and have some tea on the fr on the back porch here at the Grand Hotel. We'll also make our way to Cleveland, Ohio, which has a very vibrant cultural arts center and various museums. So uh, nice place to get out and walk around on your own or, or take one of the optional excursions and see all the landmarks. Buffalo, New York, certainly a great city in its own right, but our gateway to Niagara Falls. And if your clients have never done that, we've got a really great full day excursion that will take them to the falls, get you right in under them, as you can imagine, and, and uh, do a few stops along the way. Uh, it's a full day excursion. It's really, really does the area justice. It's an uh, uh, amazingly beautiful part of, uh, of the state of New York. And then we'll make our way to Ontario uh, in Canada and the capital city of Toronto, right on Lake Ontario on the other side. And uh, it's a great city to walk around in. It's uh, Canada's largest city, but you wouldn't know it to walk around Around. It's really clean and safe and, and very diverse and a, a lot of fun to visit. And then, of course, Montreal, one of the great Francophile cities of eastern Canada, where it, it's just so French. It's fabulous. The, the culture, the architecture, the food, the cobblestone streets, it's all there. And uh, your clients can enjoy it either on their own or on an optional excursion. If they've never been, we'll take some of the, the work out of it for them. And, you know, our optional excursions often involve another mode of transportation, like a horse-drawn carriage. Or in the case of Montreal, we have a motor coach tour that takes them to all of the landmarks and saves them a lot of walking. But it's up to your clients how they want to do it. Kind of continuing in this part of the world, a very popular itinerary uh, in, we're getting into September now. So as we make our way up to Saguenay, as you see on the map here, way up north, we're going to start getting hints of fall color for sure, but not so much when we start out in New York City here. Um, that is going to be our embarkation point, and uh, we're going to make our way up the Hudson River. Maybe a little glimmer of fall, depends on the year, right? But it's still beautiful. We'll make our up, way up through New York, the Erie Canal, and then to the Thousand Islands region, which is, I think, one of the best kept secrets. It's between upstate New York and the province of Ontario in Canada. And it's a beautiful area just dotted with these islands, some of which have castles on them, like this one, Dark Island and Singer Castle, where we'll actually stop and, and feel like it's all ours. We'll, that's a boathouse there. This was a, a building built at, at the turn of the century as a, a hunting lodge by one of the, our industrial barons, and today it's a museum. So we literally pull up to the boathouse and walk ashore and into the house. It's really great. And this whole area is so scenic. It's a wonderful place to hang out on shore, as you can see here. You know, this is what it's like when you travel on Blount Small Ship Adventures. It's like traveling on your own yacht or a friend's yacht. I like to think of it as my own. And then once we get up to the Saguenay, we're talking about very deep, cold waters that are just full of marine wildlife. So it's great whale watching here. You're, you're definitely going to want to be out on deck with binoculars, a camera if you're like me, taking in the incredible scenery. It's very fjord-like. It's like the coast of Norway. And honestly, beluga whales, orca whales, humpbacks, there's so much out there to keep an eye peeled for. So uh, we'll, we'll be doing that for sure. And then we come into Quebec City. What a great shot this is. You know, I know where I want to be when uh, when I get off the, the ship in Quebec City, and uh, we're going to be right there. You can see the Chateau Frontenac off in the distance there, and uh, we'll get to the other part here where the big ship crowd isn't going to be. Once we get there, you know, we'll have options as well. You know, your clients can join us on a motor coach tour, or because Quebec City is certainly one of those places lots of folks have visited, uh, we are offering walking tours with a local guide that can really give you a different perspective on this beautiful city. And it has so much to offer, like uh, beautiful Notre Dame Cathedral in Montreal. Same thing. We'll, we'll do walking tours as well as uh, overview motor coach tours. So have a look at the itineraries and you can kind of get a sense of, of, uh, of that and um, what, uh, what the options are for clients. 
Our next itinerary in this part of the world is similar, but a little bit different, the Locks, Legends, and Canals. This one is going to focus on the fall foliage. So you see as the calendar rolls around, it's almost Christmas again, right? <laughs> But we're talking about late September into October, almost the end of our season. So you better believe this is going to be beautiful fall foliage. If you've got leaf peepers, they're going to want to look at this 14-day itinerary that goes from New York to Montreal or reverse. So check the website for which vessel and which departure date is going in which direction. But either way, you know, this is a, a, another great way to take in New York City and uh, everything that it has to offer with that onboard early arrival package and make our way up the Hudson River, a little better picture here of what that looks like in the fall, absolutely breathtaking, going under the beautiful bridges and the, the hillsides are all aflame. We'll be making our way again into the Thousand Islands region, which is also just a myriad of colors from all the hardwoods and, and different types of trees that uh, that do so well there. Uh, and then we'll get up into Canada, and one of the ports of call that we visit is Trois-Rivières in Quebec, the province of Quebec. It's like a miniature Quebec City. It's so beautiful, walkable, and uh, and very French. So a uh, great place to stop and visit before we get to uh, Montreal, the, the bigger version of that and everything it has to offer. One new itinerary that we've uh, added this year is the final one of the season. It's a great way for your clients to take in all of that beauty of the Hudson River, the New York Harbor, the Long Island Sound here as we make our way back to our home port with the Grand Mariner. And this departure is October 20th. So again, New York City, great place, great way to see that harbor. Uh, the Hudson River a link of it is going to be breathtaking that time of year. A beautiful shot here of West Point, which we do offer as an optional uh, with home security allowing. Uh, Newport, Rhode Island, you know, still going strong in the fall. This is the the port area. There's so much going on and happening here. And uh, and then into our home port of Warren, Rhode Island, where uh, Blount Small Ship Adventures is, is – uh, is home based and the Blount Shipyards is still in operation making vessels like the ones that we are traveling on. So uh, I hope that gives you an idea of where we go and how we do things, at least a, a taste of it. And I hope you've been thinking about some clients that you have that this might be just right for. Because again, go to our website as a shot of the uh, home screen and you can navigate around to find everything you need to talk to them about our cruises. You can click on any of these navigation uh, items here and there's a drop down list that will fill you in on everything. Thing. And check out the blog because that tells some great stories, the gallery, some wonderful images and beautiful videos that really put your client into the picture. If you haven't gone in before, please do check out our travel agent section where you can find all kinds of information. I'll show you some of the things you'll find in there in just a moment. But I do want to show you around the fleet just a little bit, give you a sense of the onboard experience here. And uh, we have two vessels in the Grand class, the Grand Mariner and the Grand Carib, which are virtually identical twin sister ships. Uh, again, 84 guests on board, maximum number. So it, they're really unique size and scale, and uh, you can find all the details on the website. And in the back of our print brochures, we have all the deck plans and the different uh, cabin categories. We have four different categories of traditional small ship cruising cabins. You know, they're not oversized or huge based on the size and scale of our vessel. They vary in size and configuration. So check it out, and uh, please call us with any questions. But you know your clients are going to be cruising in comfort. Uh, all of the cabins have individual air conditioning the large view windows there that do open, but we are fully air conditioned. We have um, no TVs or phones in, the, in the, the cabins. The whole idea of Blount Small Ship Adventures is to get away from it all. So, you know, that's part of the difference by design. And I think the types of clients that love Blount love that. We also have... Um, uh, two to, the, the different configurations of, of cabins, as I mentioned, uh, we have uh, cabins on both vessels that have been retrofitted to have a separate entrance to the shower. So if your clients are looking for that, we can offer that. We also have what are known as marine heads where it's all in one area with the shower separated on a shower curtain, which is typical on expedition vessels and private private vessels as well. So whichever your client is looking for, uh, we have those choices. We also have single occupancy cabins on both vessels, 
and uh, we do have a handicap accessible cabin on each of the vessels. More importantly, we have amazing people on board. Our crew members are all American. By the way, we are US flagged vessels, which again is hard to capture on a brochure page, but I think makes a big difference to your client's experience. When you're traveling with us, the crew really shares your, uh, your thirst for adventure and your, your, uh, your, your sense of fun. And they give great service while being very engaging and, uh, and, and um, fun to be around. We also have a very unique alcohol policy on Blount as part of, you know, that difference by design. We have a BYOB policy, which means literally bring your own bottle. And that's exactly what we encourage your clients to do. Now, there are a few times on board where we include the alcohol. And, and first of all, we have two hosted cocktail parties on each departure. One at the beginning is a welcome. One at the end is sort of the gala farewell. And at those, we're serving a beautiful spread of food as well as bartending and providing the alcohol. We also serve house brands of wine and beer at lunch and dinner on all of our cruises. So that's all included in the cruise price. Outside of that, it's the BYOB, and we have everything your client needs. They bring their own uh, wine, spirits, beers, any combination. We have the storage. We have a labeling system. We have the mixers for their drinks. We have the olives for their martinis. It's really a great program that people love because they can have what they like, when they like, and no big bar bill at the end of the cruise. We have the two setups like this. This is downstairs in the dining room, but there's a similar one upstairs in the Vista View Lounge. So folks can help themselves to soft drinks and mixers any time of day, 24-7. We also, while we're down here in the dining room, have fantastic food on board. You know, our talented and creative chefs make sure that the food is as much a part of your client's experience as the places that we visit. And so the menus are really tailored to reflect local flavors and, and uh, menus are posted daily. There's always a choice of entrees at dinner. Special dietary requirements can be accommodated with some advance notice, but they're chef-prepared, healthful meals that are really enjoyable. We have a combination of sort of uh, buffet items and uh, served, hot served items at breakfast and lunch, and then dinner is always waiter-served, choice of entrees, fresh baked goods. We have a pastry chef on board every departure as well. The food is really fabulous and your clients are going to absolutely love it. Got some more lobster going on there. That's the way we do lobster at Blount Small Ship Adventures. So folks sit open single seating for all meals in the dining room. Uh, as I mentioned, some items will be buffet at breakfast, but then chef will bring over, the, the wait staff will bring over whatever chef has created, whether that's herbed scrambled eggs or stuffed French toast, and, and clients can have as much as they'd like. So it's a really casual, fun way to travel with fantastic food being served. We do have an enrichment program on board that can range from our photographer who travels with us to our own naturalist, Luz Hunter, or special guests that, uh, that join us along the way and bring their expertise uh, to your client's experience. We also have entertainers join us. Uh, whether that's a musical trio on, on the top deck or uh, some local artists or storytellers. It's just really a variety. Whatever brings the destination to life, we endeavor to bring that on board and give your clients an experience of that. We also have the Vista View Lounge here, which has accommodation for everyone to sit comfortably and watch presentations, maybe a local vintner or a local chef does a cooking demonstration here. And then this area is also your client's living room away from home. So comfortable seating, there's books and videos, uh, or uh, DVDs, I should say, listen to me, videos, uh, and also board games. And, you know, some folks just come and go and, and relax and enjoy each other in this space. So that's um, that's kind of what the onboard experience is all about, making new friends, traveling from one interesting place to another, and, and just getting the most out of life. We do, as I've mentioned, offer the optional excursions that can give your clients a different experience of places, and we generally release that information about 60 days prior to departures. But if you have any questions, give us a call, and sometimes we have that uh, information in advance. We also have on select uh, departures bicycles on board. So we do treat them as an optional excursion. There's a, a cost for reserving them, but uh, it's very nominal and it's really just a great way to uh, 
you know, make it easy for folks to get out and enjoy a bike ride if they want to uh, without, you know, having to add that into the price for everybody. Because not everyone will want to explore this way, but we've got some great ports of call where, where they uh, might want to do that and some active folks on board that want to get out and enjoy that way. So I'm going to check the questions box now. Remember, if you do have questions, you can feel free to type in there at any time. And then I've also thrown in a few frequently asked questions for myself because uh, I know that uh, these come up a lot and it reminds me to give you some of the answers. So um, we have, let me see what questions do we have. Rachel has a question going back to the warm water departures. Do we have dive equipment or storage on board for someone who wants to dive? No, we don't. And if you have a diver on uh, the Belize uh, itinerary, for example, uh, I'd recommend that they plan a dive at the beginning of the cruise or the end of the cruise. Our itineraries don't really allow themselves um, you know, give time for folks to go do dives from the, the, the ship uh, on our itinerary. So if they wanted to do something like that before or after, that would probably be the best, um, the best way to do it. Uh, let's see what other questions we have. Uh, 2020 itineraries Maria's asking about. You know, we're right around the corner. Yeah, we have our 2020 itineraries. Check out the website. They're, they're all there. And uh, you can find all of the detailed information on, uh, on uh, deposits and final payments right there as well. Uh, Maria's also asking if you need a passport on Canadian stops. Yes, absolutely. If you're taking any of our itineraries, where we tip into Canada, your clients do need a valid U.S. passport to get back into the U.S. So Canada doesn't need it, but we do. Um, okay, Sandy has a question, age limit for children. Good question. We do have an age limit of 14 years, so uh, no children under 14 years of age. And even over 14 years of age, I would just qualify the uh, clients and, and be sure that that, uh, that child is comfortable in the uh, company of adults. We don't have a children's program or special meal times or anything like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, um, if it's the type of client that, the type of child that really needs to be plugged in all the time and uh, entertained constantly, that's well worth you knowing in advance. Uh, let's see, how about the single supplement? So that, that kind of brings me to my, my first frequently asked question to myself. Um, well, yeah, we do have some great options for solo travelers. First of all, uh, we have some dedicated, uh, on each ship, we have a couple of dedicated singles cabins where uh, we have special singles pricing. And it just depends on the itinerary what that is. So give us a call and we'll fill you in there. But we also have a roommate sharing program. If you have someone who's willing to have a same gender roommate, we'll sign them up for that. And if they don't, if we don't have another single, uh, you know, come uh, to that program, they'll get the double cabin with no additional charge. So that's a great way to save the money. And then we do have um, double occupancy cabins available for singles as well. So any way they want to do it, we do have some good options there. Uh, let's see what other questions. Uh, when it comes to mobility issues, while I'm, I'm uh, at it here, uh, we have, we've, have this stair that lift that goes between the passenger decks. So we don't have an elevator on board. The size and scale of our vessel doesn't really require that, but the stair lift can really assist people that have trouble with stairs. You know, and that's, that's, uh, usually the hardest part when someone has those types of mobility challenges. What we can't control certainly is what, what we encounter on shore and even the pitch of the gangway when we arrive or depart since in so many different places it's it's um, determined by the tide etc so uh, give us a call if you have questions uh, from a particular client about uh, particular needs and we'll work with you to see what uh, what what recommendations we can make uh, let's see uh, we have a few other questions in here uh, would there be a vegan menu? Not There isn't a vegan menu per se, but if you have a vegan client, let us know that in advance and Chef will, uh, will make sure that they have uh, good options. And, you know, with 84 guests on board, that's a whole lot easier to do than it is when you have thousands. So uh, just let us know what, um, what they need. Um, another question for Maria, what our shortest itinerary is the seven-night itinerary. That's uh, the islands of New England. 
let's see, Wi-Fi. Is Wi-Fi available? There is limited Wi-Fi available in the um, VistaView Lounge, and there is no charge for it. But bear in mind that it's not going to be the same speed and and uh, and strength as as it would be in your own home. Uh, we do have uh, we don't have computers or anything for clients to use. So tell them to bring along their own devices, iPads, tablets, whatever it might be. And certainly, you know, very often they're going to have access to a cell signal because most of our itineraries, with the exception of Panama and Honduras and uh, Belize are going to be close to home, close to shore. You know, they'll be able to pick up Wi-Fi signals or their cell signals fairly easily. So um, that kind of covers the questions. There's a few in here that we'll follow up with you after the event because they're a little more specific or uh, might take a little bit more time to get into. Uh, I did want to show you the special offers area, though, because this can be really important when you're talking to clients. And we have some great special offers out there right now. Uh, if you look at the control panel on your uh, screen and under the questions box, you see the word handouts uh, and a little arrow. Click on that. You'll see the PDF file that says current blount current offers bssa current offers you can click on that and download that right to your computer it's a listing of what you will find if you go to our website the home page on the website where you see special offers in the upper right hand corner if you click on that you'll see all that same information it'll show you what we have special offers on right now and, and they're all good until january 31st so perfect time to reach out to your clients and and uh, run this by them give them these alternatives a great option for them that they may not have known about and some special savings to boot that'll make you a superstar for sure once you're in there uh, in the in, on our website get into the travel agent portal if you haven't before it's a very simple process you just send us an email set up your login and we'll approve it and, and that's done within a you know 24-hour turnaround easily and then you'll have access to recorded webinars and other sales tools information on groups and charters we do have Kathy Trafford our director of sales that would love to work with you if you have any opportunities around that area and then also information on our agent discount which is very competitive up to 75% off for you and 50% off for a traveling companion uh, just depending on how close in you're confirmed so if you have an opportunity to get on board with us or visit the ship we'd love to have you do that so you can see just how much fun people are having on Blount small ship adventures and what makes us different by design so that's a lot of information I've thrown your way in a relatively short period of time. I, I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. Uh, here's some contact information for you in case you think of something after we conclude. And we will follow up with any of you and all of you that had questions that we didn't get to during the session here. And uh, know that we will invite you to future webinars where, like I said, we can dig a little bit deeper and go into the ports of call and the different optional excursions and, uh, and who this type of client is and how you can find them. So I hope you'll join me on future webinars and uh, keep an eye out for that follow-up email coming your way in about an hour's time so you can uh, watch this again if you'd like to or like I said share it with any of your colleagues who weren't able to join us today. So thanks again everyone. Have a wonderful rest of the day and happy selling. Bye now.